hello friends welcome to my channel a channel for learning simple coding if you find this video to be helpful please like share and subscribe my channel in this video number four we are going to understand what is props how to pass these props and use props in component how to pass arrays and object as a props to the component it's the most important part of react or next year's application development now what is props props are the parameters that we pass to the function because you know that component is a function that returns some value that's why we pass the properties and the parameters to the component means we are passing a normal parameter to the function but how to pass this how to use this that is a different way as compared to normal function because we are using here function as a component so we have to pass and use properties also parameter also of a function as a component that we have to understand so go to application so in last video i have created here two components so i am removing this one i am keeping only display one and uh, i like uh, arrow function so i am converting this to arrow function it's a simple one you have to understand how to do this like this it's converted into arrow one simple now i have to remove it from here because i am not using two component i am using one so i am removing this from here you see so it's a normal component and if i see the output here i display i refresh it once again and you see that we have the same output now we have to understand what is the props here that this is a normal clean component we are not passing any parameter to this but if from this page if i want to pass some value to this component those value i want to read here so how we'll do that so for that here suppose i am passing here name so i say doctor weapon classes like this if this name i want to pass this only one parameter one props of a string type because we are using type script remember that so it telling that it's a string type so what we have to do we have to go there and here i need to receive this so i say props remember that so this props type we have to define here because we are using typescript so here i can use this props so how i can use it i can use it like this in this curly bracket i say props dot name remember that why name because the name of this props i have defined as a name so i am using this here but it is telling that it's a type script you have to specify the type of it for that i say type i say props type equal to like this and here i say name is of string type remember that and here i say the type of this is props type remember that like this so I'm defining the types of this because it's a type script. So we have to define the type of this in place of this. You can use interfaces also, but the you have to understand the difference between types and interface. That's why I have a separate series of type script also. You can watch that. But here, if you are not want to learn detail about type script, so understand that we are creating a type of this. This is a user defined data type. So we are creating a prop props type because we are defining here that this props having this field so no output is not changed remember that if i run it so no change at all but i can show you change also if i make this bold if this property i make bold then i can change you also the type like this if i say it's a span tag i put here in place of this remember that i cut this and i paste a span tag here and in this span tag i say class name here and because i'm using talvin so i say font you see like this if i say font bold i'm using and you will see that we have a bold like this information with the help of talvin css this value we are reading remember that this is not only the way to read this we can also read by using uh you can say destructuring format i can say name like this remember so i can use d i can make destructuring also because i know this is a name one so i can read like this and directly i can use this like that so no change at all you can use like this also it's the same way in javascript we called it destructuring
but if you don't want this texturing uh, here so just you put props here and you you may have this texturing here so i say const here name equal to props remember that so still we can destructuring here inside the function and we are creating this here same output we have nothing change if we want to pass multiple remember that if i want to pass multiple uh, parameters so i can pass here that i say language which you are using so i say next js like this this parameter if i want to pass lang and if i want to pass more i can say lang1 equal to i say type script so number of parameter you can pass whatever you want so these parameters are not available because it's showing error so here we have to decide that we have a lang also of a string type we have lang1 also of a string type like this we can define here and here we can say lang and lang1 like this we may also use destructuring and in place of this next js i can use lang in place of this type script i can use lang1 remember that nothing special in it same output we will have you see like this we have the output but we are passing these property these value as a parameter remember that this is the main thing that you have to understand here so we are passing a props now we have understand what is props how to pass and use props now we learn how to pass array and object that is different one so how to do that suppose i have a array here in place of this i say const and i say info equal to and here i pass the information i say doctor whip in classes like this second one is here next js third one is type script like this suppose i have a array this array i want to pass here because it's long one so i want to pass in a single format this array so i say info equal to and i pass info here remember that so you see that this time we are passing a info as a here props but this props having a value of array so now how to change this here inside this so this is there we are passing here it is showing error so here we have to remove all these things and in place of or three i have to put info of a string type that is array remember that that we have to pass here now i have to remove it from here and i say info is the array which we are receiving from here in place of this i say uh, info of zero parameter here i say info at one index and here i say info of two index remember that no change in the output same output we have this time also you see same output but this time we are passing this information in form of array if i want to pass object so again just create this as a object like this no problem at all object have key value so i say name equal to this lang equal to this we have lang1 equal to this save this so like this we have this information nothing special we have we have now we are passing this information info as a object type remember that so we have to pass it as a object type here so how we can pass uh, we we need to uh, declare one more type here here i say info type like this equal to and here i say name of a string type and here i say lang of a string type here i say lang1 of a string type remember that and this info type i need to pass here i say info type like this because we have separate object of this data type now i am calling this this time no index we have to put name here because it's a type script and here i say lang and here i say lang1 remember that it's a type script so like this way you have to use your code this way and i remove this one on need of this you see and 
same output this time also no change in the output same one but this time with the help of object more secure more mature code we have so you see that i have explained in this video how to pass a simple variables array and object to the component here i think you understand now how to do all these things in next js web type script so each and everything is clear and it's a very simple way to understand if you like it please do subscribe thank you for watching this video Thank you.